All right, so let's explore the use case of um, wanting to use this as part of a larger feedback loop with a video mixer. So I've got an old Panasonic WJ-MX12 here, and while we can make a uh, feedback loop just with this by sending the output back into the input, um, sending it to something like this and using it as a loopback will let us uh, do a lot more with that feedback. It gives us a lot more control to um, to play around with both the colors and the placement, and then uh, you know we can get really creative with it in ways that we couldn't just with the uh, video mixer on its own. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, turn this thing on, and uh, just to very quickly run through the uh, signal flow real quick. Uh, we're coming out of the video synth into input one. We're coming out of the output of the mixer into here. And um, I have this overhead camera coming into input two on here as well. So, first things first, you'll notice, hey, we've already uh, we've got feedback, and um, this feedback is being generated by not this, but the both of these things in conjunction. So that means we can do something like uh, with our color corrector on the video mixer. If we turn that on, then now we can uh, turn the chroma way up. We can adjust the colors a little bit over here. And this is uh, already giving us uh, some nice control over our feedback. And then, uh, of course, over here, we can still you know, shift the hue a little bit and really uh, punch these looks in. Let's also adjust our vertical size and our horizontal size. Very cool. We'll do a little color mixing over here to change how that looks. Or we could also do it over here. And I'm going to go ahead and swap this to a uh, little picture in picture. So now you can see we've already got a lot more flexibility. We've got two sources here to work with. brightness over here on our external box. There we go. I think it was a little dim inside of our little feedback circle here. So now I'm just sending uh, that feedback, uh, I'm just sending input one to both uh, channels 1 and 2, and uh, input 1 has some effects on it, and uh, input 2 does not. So, uh, for instance, if we have this set to posterize a little bit, our feedback is going to look a little different on uh, either the outer portion or the inside of our circle. Let's put a little border on our circle. Let's push our feedback all the way to the right. So we're kind of grabbing that side of our image here. And then I'm willing to bet if I stick my hand over here that we can start, you know, playing with the feedback a little bit. But let's move it further over here. Very cool. Play with the color a little bit over here on the uh, video synth. Acting as our loop back. Let's try on negative. Much more pronounced type of luck. Let's push our feedback way up, and then if we uh, you know, grab this circle on the bottom a little bit, we could probably. <laughs> like going into a portal. What is this thing? Sir, what is this thing? I don't know. I'm going in. Alright, let's do some really intense adjustments over here. Let's bump the contrast up as high as we can go. Let's bump the brightness way down. Saturation way up. What I want are some really contrasting blacks and whites. That's what I'm looking for right now. Let's bring our feedback down. Zoom, just all this stuff. 
Well, that's a really vibrant feedback loop. Let's try auto take here. Alright, so let's set up our feedback so rather than being pushed inward, we're just hardly moving at all. What I want is our feedback to exist, but just barely be expanding. Because that means when it grabs that last frame, it will uh, really hold on to some of those details. It seems like it's expanding outward still a little bit more than I would like. So let's see if we can't rein that in a little bit. Right around here looks pretty good to me. So now, as we switch inputs, right before it starts creating feedback, it's grabbing that last frame, and that's kind of our starting point. Works really well in high contrast areas, uh, like over here where I've got my hand. Looks like I'm moving to the right a little bit. Pushing it to the left a little bit more. on to the edges of this little picture-in-picture uh, -picture circle here which is uh, creating feedback loop based on the outer pixels that it's grabbing which looks pretty cool it's kind of grabbing those uh, those contrasting edges got a nice feedback loop going. I'm uh, just tweaking the color corrector on the video mixer.
one yet is make the power pyramid. Can't. Oh, there we go. Sponsor deals. So, uh, LA Croix, the uh, sparkling water. Please give me a call, LA Croix. Not sure if that's how you say it. Sparkling water. Let's turn the audio amplifier. Uh, let's just turn it off. And then, if we send these to the color channels, we can get some Luma shifting. Probably like it moving like that. Check it out. Doesn't that look cool? So now we got a feedback going. Let's uh, do a little keying here. Imagine if this thing wasn't here. Let me move the camera a little bit.
I'm just keying in the inverse here. So now uh, everything that's a bit brighter than the uh, threshold is going to uh, have feedback inside of it. saw someone do this thing, huh? You know what I'm talking about? Where you like... <laughs> when was the last time you saw someone do that? The little, the little finger trick? You ever seen someone do it with a lo-fi video feedback loop? No, you have. Oh yeah. Check it out. Please enter your appendage. Now scanning. these crazy hand motions. The LFO going on our red channel so we can kind of continuously pulse our feedback. Push our chroma up a little bit here. Alright, so I think I'm gonna have to wrap things up here just because I've been kind of experimenting for an hour at this point and, uh, you know, culling this down to uh, uh, shorter videos already gonna be a, a bit of a task. But uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed. Uh, this is just some examples of some fun stuff that you can do utilizing this as a loopback with, uh, with a composite video mixer. But uh, this definitely expands the, uh, the capabilities of a video mixer's feedback loop outside of just what you can do internally. So uh, yeah, thanks for uh, checking this out.